Oh, I like this one. I like all of them. Equally. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, not the last one because it, I'm sorry. I just I ran about something that I know for a fact is actually going to destroy quite a few friendships, which is really annoying. I, think I love you still. But, not still. I no, do. but all you said was like facts. You didn't say anything like. Oh, they'll find ways to own me, you know. <laughs> okay. So I have these roommates, Alex and Bob. We've That's been... made up names, by the way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't... I was going to... Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I was just okay. like, you know, want to make sure that we are a discreet. So I have these roommates. Let's call them Alex and Bob. <laughs> to be accurate. <laughs> We've been friends for about two and a half years. I actually dated Bob for a while, but it didn't work out. But we went through some shit together, including a really hairy night with the C's who are B's, if you follow me. I don't follow them. What is that? No, I don't. C's and... C's Wait, it says, we went through a really hairy night with the C's who are B's, if you follow me. All I can think of is like cunts who are bastards. Who are the C's who are B's? Am I being stupid? Is this like a political reference I don't get? The C's who are B's? Can we Google this really quickly? I think maybe we should have, but like, I don't know. Like I read this and C who is B? C who is B? I don't think it's gonna come up with anything. No, it's not teaching me how to, it's doing about hepatitis. <laughs> So anyway, sorry. so you had a hairy night. A hair, hairy is that a good night? Uh, no, bad? that's like a stressy night. So they've gone through like a bonding, stressy time together. Gotcha. In the first year or so of knowing them, they lost their spot in their apartment. Then the next person they moved in with turned out to be a piece of shit. Then they moved that's in. Both of them or just both? Both of them. Okay. Then they moved in with Alex's awful narcissistic mother for a while. And then eventually that ended up crashing in what would have been my dining room. They've been there for over a year. You see, you see, this has happened. I, did, I don't ask them to contribute to the rent. They sometimes buy gas or groceries. I've asked for help with utilities, but usually get a firm commitment that isn't followed through with any actual help. They do some cooking and help with my kiddo, so that's cool. Overall, my that view... That is really good. Well, Over overall, my view has been, they're my friends, I can help, therefore I should help. And one way or another, Barb has been mostly out of work for mostly this whole time. I'm not making any judgments about this, but it's part of my, like, look, I can't just kick them out thing. They also both have some pretty serious PTSD issues. This can lead to very serious conflict situations, and honestly, it's sometimes not very good for my own health. Sometimes I'm scared of their next fight. But also, I care about them, they're my friends, I've been through a lot with them, and they also have a relationship with my six-year-old. So, now my girlfriend has asked me if I want to move in to her home. And I do, you know, I really do. I think it would be amazing. But they have no plans and no money. Am I a fucking shitbird if I sell my house and move? I'll just say that, like, I think childcare is 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 quite a big thing for them to take on as such. Like, I think that's that can be quite expensive. The fact that they are taking it the, that on, I think that's that's really huge and everything. Um, I would say the fact that they said they would pay for utilities and haven't done. Yeah, it's not cool. Like, if you can't do it, then just be open. They're your friend and be yeah. like, I would love to contribute. Here's fifty. I know it's a hundred, but it's all I can do. But don't make promises about finance that you can't follow through on because that's not fair. Yeah. Like, we're all in shit financial situations sometimes, and being honest about it is kind of the best way of dealing with it. The way that I see this, because I've, I've definitely benefited from situations where I've been housed by people <laughs> and stuff, and, and um, I, I personally have just been extremely thankful for every day up to that, the, the, that, the last day as such, so celebrating every day that I've had up until the point when they tell me that, you know what, actually my plans are changing now. So, base, I have just always looking at the past and thinking, fuck, I had this, you know, couple of months or over a year or whatever, being like being secure in this place. And so I would never, ever, I could never hold it against them if things change because I already had this time. And so I would forever just be thankful. So, but that's my personal situation because I guess I am the Alex and Barb a lot of the time. Um, but if you were the Alex and Barb and the OP decided, said, I want to move with my girlfriend, like, I personally would have no issues, yeah. not only no issues, I would just be, well, I would be happy for them and I also just, I no, I'm just, I would be very thankful that they fucking took me on. That's the thing, like, I think you did a really cool thing for your friends and I think making a life choice for yourself, like, yes, we all, like, care for our friends and, like, we have some responsibilities to, for them, but, like, how soon do you want to move your girlfriend? Could you give them two months notice? Could you give them six months notice? You know, like, these are all the things that show that you're a caring friend. I would not... 
I would never not move in with your girlfriend because of your friends, but like giving them time to sort their shit out and yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, but people move on. Of course, surely yeah, Alex exactly. and Barbara and Sarah, people move on. People move on to next stages in their lives. Yeah. Like that's totally understandable. You're not a shit bag by wanting to move on, move in with your girlfriend. Like, no, 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 no. And you've already given them so much. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I will say, you know, the, the the fact that the kid is attached to them, I guess that is a complication. But again, they can definitely see each other. I mean, the fact that they wrapped you around their finger to such an extent where you think that you'll be called a dickhead if you like mm. move out that that sounds pretty fucking manipulative and i say this as someone who is also very much you know i do do the whole like you know like oh you know i don't have any inheritance and or i don't have properties and so you know i don't what what is going to be my future so it's like in a chili and i understand people probably feel sorry for me and stuff like that uh but again like i would i would like to think and in general like the, 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 <laughs> it's just so I cannot relate because like all you look is is the past and every day that you did get given like yeah like if they're your friends that you've known for like several years and you love and respect and who like recognize that you've helped them out because you want to not because of charity I don't think they would think you're like there's no way they could think you're a dickhead Wait, you're not saying hey I just want to evict you for the lols you're saying I want to move with my girlfriend and housing is like such an important thing it's the most important thing in my opinion in many ways but and like class, you've given them yeah. a, I mean, how, yeah, they're no, intertwined like, to shit. Like, yeah, but class differences exist just because they're going to live there for another year or two. That's not going to make them own the house. Like, it's yeah. not going to be your place. So, like, what, what, is the, what is the future here? Like, what is, what is, there's no future whatsoever. Yeah. At some point, that day is going to come. And it seems like you're pretty much, like, at that point And you've been looking after them for quite a while. Yeah. And um, I don't really know why you're giving the context about you like, having seen Marble for a while. Maybe you guilt, feel guilty. Maybe you fucked them over in some way. I don't know. Uh, so perhaps this is why you're like... But like, like yeah, that. if they're your friends, and even if you can only offer them a space for a few months, like anyone who's been in that deficit situation of needing a space for a few months will value that and would never, like no one I know, and pretty much everyone I know is someone who's crashed with someone for a few months. No one I know would ever think twice about the person they were staying with, like changing their plans. Notice is the only thing that I think is super important in housing. Like, don't have someone out in less than two months. Don't have someone out in less than six months if you can. Like, it's and don't super allow important. yourself to get to the point where you'd be resentful enough that yes. it does actually just happen. That's you know? super important. Yeah. Like, even if it wasn't because you wanted to move your girlfriend, even because you were just getting sick of them. Like, if that's a thing, that's also okay. We don't have to like. I mean, yes, most people in society have to live in situations they don't want to, but if you have the luxury of not having to do that, like, you shouldn't also force yourself to just because of, they're your friends. You want to part on good, good, in good, yeah. on good terms, right? And I think the fact that you've already even sent us this question, like, you are already, maybe even unconsciously, are going to be growing resentful for every day that you could have been with your partner and you're not now. So it's not even that Alex and Barbara are even doing anything wrong anymore, perhaps. It's just that you want a different life. And like, so you will just inherently, you're just going to like, and subconsciously not going to like them anymore because they are in... I know they're yeah. a boundary or whatever. How do you call it? They're a barrier. A barrier. That's the word. The barrier to, for you to to move on to that. That's the a next really stage, good point. Like stage. Yeah, that's a really good point because yeah, the fact that you're listing like the pros of them and the cons of them. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what whether they do the dishes or whether they look after your kid. The fact is, you want to move in your girlfriend, and you can, and you should because yeah. that's what you want to do. Like, it doesn't matter how, yeah, how often they did this or how they, little they did this. Now, it, that might matter if you were continuing on staying with them for a long period of time, you would grow resentful that they didn't pay utilities or you would grow grateful that they looked after your kid. But those things don't actually impact on your decision to move in with your girlfriend. Oh, no, yeah, to give, a, I guess, a personal example, when I moved to London, I moved here and I was seeing someone in Lithuania and me and my mom lived in, like, a rented room with, like, 10 other Lithuanians in, like... East London and stuff and um, well in the room it was just the two of us but then in the whole house as such um, and and my partner actually moved with us so there was three of us in the room which believe me was awkward and terrible enough or whatever <laughs> but you know she was like you know he's young he's like he was 20 or whatever and he doesn't really you know he wasn't he wasn't really sure what he's doing and so he would be working days and nights but was still well but still I don't know like sometimes not tiny anyways he wasn't particularly great but anyways I actually but she allowed him, to, when it was complicated, right? There was three of us in the room or whatever. And, but she felt so sorry for him 
and she could never say no. Da, 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 da. But at one point, she just snapped. And there was this one night, a terrible night, where she fucking like she was just like, "You have to go," which was terrible. And to be fair, we had a place for him, and it was all fine in the end. They, you know, birdie hatched eventually and stuff. But like, it was a shame that she got to that point where she snapped. Like that sucked. So I wish she, we wouldn't have. We, I wish we would have begun that conversation earlier on. You know. Yeah. So yeah. And housing conversations are always horrible. They are because essentially what it means is one person is gonna, or or two in this case, is gonna have to root their life. Housing conversations suck the most, like, they're horrible, I hate them, I hate having to tell someone they can't live with me, I hate being told that I can't live somewhere anymore, like, you know, we've both squatted and we've both had that moment, <laughs> funny kind of side anecdote, I got a letter the other day and I went, oh no, and Mariam said, oh, is it eviction papers, Literally. because we've both been so used to that day when you get eviction papers and you just have that sinking feet, and no, it wasn't, by the way, I was talking about, like, gas works in the street, yeah. but that feeling is... One of the it's most horrible feelings you. ever. <laughs> yeah. And you'll never get rid of that feeling of, fuck, my home is gone. <laughs> and if you're expecting them to not feel that, they, they won't not feel that. They will feel that. Even if they were sleeping in sleeping bags under your stairs, the feeling of losing your home is a huge thing and we should not underplay it. But that doesn't mean that you're wrong to want to move on with your life. Yeah, that will happen eventually, basically. Yeah, yeah. you can feel both things at once. Like... And also, you know, maybe, well, maybe it'd be best for the kid as well, if, you know, for the kid is now with the whatever, to parents, you know, I don't care much for, like, the nuclear family or whatever, you know, but stability for the kid and tra I don't know. Blame it on the kid, basically. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, like, if I was Alex and Barb, is all I'm saying is that I would be thankful for every day up until that point, and that's it. And if they don't feel that way, that's kind of on them. Because yeah. they've had that opportunity as such, that that's all. But just give them as much notice as you can and tell them as early as possible. Even tell them that, like, hey, some point next year I'm thinking about moving in with Carolyn... Like, give them as much warning as you can. That's the only way in which you'll be able to make your situation easier. And, yeah, like yeah, Mariam said, they'll be grateful. Yeah, and stuff, you know, yeah. Yeah. It'll be fine, and you're not an asshole. No. You sound like you've been really cool, no, and no. you've all pulled your weights in different ways. And, yeah. yeah, we've all lived in messy, collective living situations, so we get Yeah, let's this. not fight over crumbs, you know what I mean? We're all yeah. so fucked up and fucked over as is, you know? So let's yeah. not fall into that.